Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, I will guide you and explain you about how I have created this income tax return calculator for 2024 and 25 in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. First, you can see there is uh, the index sheet where we have inserted some shapes and we have a link with the different sheets. So as I am recording this video on 17th of June 2025 and after this month the July will come and the uh, all the salaried individuals uh, will be able to uh, submit their income tax return to the Federal Board of Revenue FPR and definitely they need to uh, see how much tax uh, annual tax uh, is being derived from their annual salary so this particular sheet will be very helpful for them and i will show you how and what are those steps uh, involved and which kind of functions and formulas i have used and we will also compare uh, these calculation results with uh, a real time on a live website as well so let's get start um, as this year the salaried individuals will be definitely posting their uh, amounts of tax uh, on the fbr website for the tax year for 2024 to 25 uh, that would be counted as uh, from july 2024 till june 2025 right and these are the slabs we have the lower limit the upper limit which was uh, announced in the last year uh, budget session in the parliament uh, the tax rates the fixed tax and then definitely the user needs to put his or her monthly salary that will multiply by 12 to generate the annual taxable income and that will show you the yearly tax or per month tax according to it so there is a formula definitely here and i have used the vlookup function why because as i have observation even in most of the pakistani organization is still uh, people are using older version of excel i have thoroughly created a uh, alternate approaches uh, by using index match function or xlookup function even in excel 365 you can use the dynamic array formulas as well i will show you that so you can uh, use vlookup because vlookup is eventually available in almost all the excel versions so it will be easy for the users to understand this logic how the yearly tax has been derived uh, from this particular table okay and secondly i have also mentioned if any user wants to explore with the help of index match so i have written here at the bottom and let me show you the dynamic array formula so eventually if you are using excel 365 or modern excel so i have drive uh, this with the help of x lookup and the text split function so here the situation is different we have again the slabs in just one cell the lower limit and the upper limit inside one cell and then we have tax rates in another column and then fixed tax and this is how the dynamic array formula is working through uh, the nesting of x lookup multiple times and tax split as well okay. so eventually if you are using modern excel or the latest version uh, you can get rid of v lookup or index match and use this short formula version else uh, i have also noticed that some of the very basic users use nested if now nested if will be become very much lengthy and complex to write as compared to this modern excel functions dynamic array formulas or you can use the vlookup strategy as shown here okay now what we will be doing here is that first we will match the numbers uh, so that we are confident that we can use this template in our organization so i will go to uh, a website called bfiler.com and um, they also provide the text file return services and many other services you can visit this website uh, what i will show you is their text tools and let's go to the calculator now we will select the year which is 2024 and 25 and it says that enter your monthly salary so if we go inside excel so let's assume that i earn 2 lakh 25 thousand per month so that's an assumption uh, whatever your monthly salary will be you will write here so 2 lakh 25 thousand okay and as soon as i click on calculate 
it shows me that my yearly tax will be 3,5,000 if I go to my excel sheet so see the exact answers are matching per month tax is 25,417 when I go to the website is 25,416.67 which means 25,417 so the answers are matching from the live website through my calculation in the excel sheet so this means that the logics has been created correctly here okay let's apply another uh, uh, let's say another salary for example 50,000 per month so basically it comes within the 6 lakh slabs and there is no tax should be calculated here so it's zero here so if I go to the website and if I write 50,000 that's my monthly salary so again see this is showing zero right uh, and let's say 3 like 25,000 per month so it's 3.9 million uh, yearly tax is 6 lakhs 40,000 so if I go to the website and if I write monthly salary for example 3 like 25,000 calculate and see yearly taxes 6 lakh 40,000 so exactly the correct numbers are coming on the website and as well as on my excel spreadsheet as well if you see per month tax is 53,333 exactly same right so you don't need to worry about the logic so you can apply in your organization as well but this is for the just one person right if i'm writing my monthly salary and it's calculating very easily with the help of vlookups but what if if i want to apply for more employees in my organization so i have also prepared this particular sheet where you can see let me explain the columns first we will have the employee ids uh, whatever the number of employees working in your organization employee ids their names uh, their date of joining when they have joined the organization uh, the tax year would be definitely for this year it will be 30th of june 2025 their designation the the function or department they are working in now this column will be used to input their monthly basic salary remember that okay not the gross salary you will write the basic salary here then we will add the allowances uh, for example i have written four allowances it could be five six seven so you need to add columns and adjust the formula at the end so at this point of time there are four allowances house rent convince special you can rename that as well if you don't write special and the overtime okay then we will list the loans if any employee has uh, obtained the car loan or house loan or any other loan you can add or less uh, then annual increment how much increment uh, that person has given this year annual bonus probably there are two bonuses uh, could be the Eid bonus or any other bonus and then we have a column of adjusted monthly salary that will be your gross salary so we have uh, put a logic here a formula here equals to sum that taking my basic salary plus adding all the allowances and then subtracting my less loans that is the car loan and house loan and then adding up the annual increment and bonus so this particular logic will give you your uh, gross salary okay so this will give you the gross salary adjusted monthly salary you can say now according to this uh, yearly taxable salary for 2024 and 25 will be calculated but this is the magic formula you need to understand is because sometimes what happened not every employee is an old employee sometimes what happens during this taxation year uh, a new hiring has been done and a new employee has joined the company so for example if you can see Hussain has joined on 1st March 2025 so we will not calculate his uh, annual uh, all the 12 months of tax definitely the time period which is left from the tax year date till of the date of joining that's the difference uh, and that will be probably of certain month and days similarly uh, the salim and kamran has also joined this organization during this particular taxation year so their calculation will be a bit different and this particular formula will handle all things itself okay if the employee is old 
for example mohsen the manager finance has joined in 2023 so his particular tax year would be 2024 and 25 for the 12 months okay so that's the logic and i have applied the conditional formatting uh, why these rows are highlighted not manually but with the help of conditional formatting let me show you the rule i will go to home tab conditional formatting manage rules and you can see this is picking up the date from c8 c8 is the date of joining if it's greater than and equals to particular this tax year date which is 1st of july 2024 so that will highlight and that will indicate that the particular employee has joined us during this particular tax year okay now let's get an example and verify the numbers with the website as well so you will see eventually that are these logics are working correctly or not okay now let's have an example of first employee which is ahmed so ahmed has joined us in 2022 and uh, we are going to uh, apply the tax year which is 30th june 2025 that's the date he is the finance executive his basic salary is uh, 80000 and couple of uh, allowances and definitely he has took the loan and then annual increments so he has um, adjusted monthly salary is 1 lakh 15000 and according to that he needs to pay 57000 uh, as a tax for this particular year okay now i will go to the salary calculator and uh, this is the live website b filer as you know it right and uh, i will write 1 lakh 15000 as a monthly salary So let's say one lakh fifteen thousand as a monthly salary, and I will click on calculate. So as soon as I calculate, you can see that the yearly tax is fifty seven thousand based on this monthly salary, right? And if I go to my sheet, so this is also giving me fifty seven thousand as you can see. So this means the this logic has been put correctly. So you can use this. Eventually, uh, let's. take another example let's say we have a mohsin he is the manager finance his basic salary is 1 lakh 10000 and then adding and subtracting all the allowances or loans and increments so his uh, monthly adjusted salary is 1 lakh 61000 right so according to 1 lakh 61000 how much tax will be deducted for 24 to 25 1 lakh 39800 so let's write on the website and we will be confident that our all these logics are working correctly so i will put 161000 here and click calculate so you can see yearly tax will be 139800 and this is coming uh, very right 139800 for this year right but what happens let's suppose that hussain has joined during this particular tax year on march right so definitely we need to subtract this particular date from this date and according to the available number of months and days the tax will be deducted so his adjusted monthly salary is uh, 2 lakh 1500 but his yearly taxable salary would be 8 lakh 6000 according to the date of joining and that from this point and the required uh, tax he needs to pay is only 10300 i hope you understand this uh, that we will not calculate the all the 12 months but whatever the available months uh, from the date of joining to the tax date so this is a dynamic sheet where you just need to put employee id's employee name their date of join the date of tax year would remain same for all uh, their designation department this is the critical area where you need to input numbers very carefully okay and uh, if anything is more in the allowances you need to adjust here in this particular formula the calculation based in these two columns which is yearly taxable salary is absolutely correct as i gave you the example and also the annual salary tax okay for 2024 and 2025 so you can use it what you can do is you can uh, have some 10 or 15 records and put it here on a real time um, whatever your organization has and then you can uh, see the accuracy of the amounts coming Okay, and I have also cross check with this live website, so that is another evidence that my my workings are absolutely correct. You can go to the previous uh, tax year slabs. This is historical, but this is will not be used if anyone wants to calculate. If anyone does not have paid, uh, for example, twenty twenty three and twenty four, so that calculation will be a slightly different, and that is also available here. 
okay and then for the aops have a different kind of slab so i have updated that as well now so if you want this template uh, if you are watching this video on facebook or linkedin or youtube you can comment below with your email address or you can inbox me your email address i will send you this template.